now this is our resources and equipment task for our plan research and planning. Um, the camera equipment we'll be using includes a DSLR, which will enable us to adjust the white balance, aperture and exposure settings, so less editing is needed in post-production. We will be using a Minolta lens, which helps us get really high quality shots and in post-production it uh, will help us because the lens captures a lot of light so our colour grading will be easier. Um, for the shots that are filmed underwater, we will be using this underwater camera case, which is provided by our media teacher, Miss Doig. She will also be providing us with a stabiliser, which um, will be used for the shots when the camera peds up and for when we shoot outside so that the camera movement's smooth. Um, we will also use a tripod and a dolly. Um, and we could potentially use a GoPro uh, if there are any issues with the DSLR underwater. Um, the DSLR and the GoPro are our own equipment, but we're borrowing the stabiliser and waterproof case from our media teacher, and the rest of the equipment will be provided by school. For lighting, we are only using a reflector for the shots in the woods, as the light outside is unpredictable. Um, the reflector will allow us to make sure the light points in the right direction for the shot. So, this is the reflector. Again, the school will provide us with this as we will have booked it out for the day we need it. For sound, we'll be using an H4N for close sound and things like that. The shotgun mic, which is this. <laughs> and a boom horn, which we can put the shotgun mic into and just keep it close to the actors and things like that. Um, these will pick up the sound we want with a high quality. We are fully aware how to set them up and operate them. Again, the school will provide us for these pieces of equipment. This is the shock mount and it just cushions the shotgun mic so that when it moves around you won't get the sound of it hitting the sides. This is the XLR cable which will link the shotgun mic to the H4N. For our editing, we will be using Final Cut Pro X on the iMacs provided at school. We will be including transitions such as jump cuts to connote the fear of the protagonist as a result of her confusion and fades to connote her disorientation and feelings of isolation.